Miss Misamis Oriental. Here is your question. What is your biggest insecurity and how do you address it? My socioeconomic status has been one of the biggest insecurities that I've had. Seven years ago, I was just a meager, marginalized orphan, starving and trying to make her way through. But now you see me, when you see me, think about how I've worked hard and studied even harder to be here and to aspire to conquer the universe. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Ms. Musa, Ms. Orienta. making a fool out of myself sometimes but I conquered that by always putting myself in that kind of situation actually just joining a pageant was something that I was very scared about because of the pressure but I'm standing here in front of you hoping to be your next Miss Universe so that I can make my country proud once again ang minamahal kong Pilipinas What would it be and why? It would be start loving yourself. Me, as a person, I have a lot of flaws. I am not perfect. And I may not be the perfect Miss Universe, but I am here trying to conquer my fear, trying to be a better person. This pageant really helped me to be a transformed woman be truly uniquely beautiful and I think that is what I be having in Miss Universe. That is my greatest. Thank you. Thank you very much, Miss Nikki. Miss Pasai. If you could stop time for a day, how would you spend it? If I could stop time, I would spend it with my family, especially my mother. It's been two years that I didn't see my family because they live in Italy and I came here in the Philippines it's just by myself. So if I had a chance to spend one day, I would definitely be with my mom and I would just tell her how much I love her and I miss her. Thank you. I'm sure she's proud of you. Thank you, Miss Pasai. Miss Kohol. What is that one life-changing decision that you've made? And what was its impact on your life? The life-changing decision I've made was to join Miss Universe Philippines again. Despite being bashed before for my body, being doubted by people, I found strength in myself. And this story can be a testament for other people to draw strength from too. That a second chance can be as just as sweet, and you can still achieve your ultimate a second time around. I can relate. Thank you, Miss Bohol. Presenting.